Hey everyone, and welcome to Backpacking with Buckley. Uh, I did not intend for our first video necessarily to be a review, but that's where we're going to go with this. And I just wanted to review a couple of things, so get some of the talking out of the way before we move on to our first adventure video. First of all, this is a brand new channel. If you don't know who we are, 12 of you out there probably know me and Emma from Bohemian Adventurers, which is the brainchild of my sister Molly. We started about a year ago and uh, love doing adventure videos, but long story short, Molly and Cody got too big for their britches. They started wanting to produce their own music, uh, do hip hop dancing, interpretive dance, and a bunch of different things that I didn't really think fit our mold. We aren't judging their, you know, their dancing styles and things like that, but at any rate, we decided to uh, extend our collaboration by me adding another channel uh, to focus kind of on what my biggest joy is which is backpacking sorry we're actually sitting in my backyard in the blizzard uh, so we'll see how the audio comes out on this but we are gonna just focus on backpacking at here at backpacking with Buckley uh, and obviously still have a big heart for bohemian adventurers and we always will be a part of what they have going on as well but it, but today we are going to start this channel off with a food review. So we're going to get right into that because we've learned from experience that we can't talk for too long. Emma reminds me prior to every video that we shoot that i got to stop talking and yet here I am. Today's choice is a food review which we don't often do but we, I went to REI this week with my dad and picked up some stuff to try uh, for a through hike that I had planned so I can get, get uh, it dialed in on what I like to eat. This selection for today is the Trailtopia Black Bean uh, with Rice Burrito. Uh, so we will see. It's a beef. There's beef in this, which I haven't traditionally uh, liked. But we're going to go ahead and set up the jet boil here in the tent in the blizzard. And we will give you some specs about what's in this, uh, calories, all the good stuff, when we uh, get back to you. So the Trailtopia Beef and Black Bean Burrito with Rice. Uh, requires two and a half cups of boiling water to steep, which we will add to the jet boil. While we get that water boiling, I'll kind of review how to cook this and what's all in it. So again, Trailtopia uh, is the company beef and black bean burrito with rice. This uh, weighs, for the weight folks, 7.4 ounces and uh, carries 425 calories. I didn't do the math on that, but get your calculators out if you want to know calories per ounce on it. Uh, it looks relatively healthy. Uh, long grain rice, freeze dried cooked beef, hulled hemp seed, fried, freeze dried black beans, dried tomato, dried green bell pepper, dried black bean flakes and then it comes with some sour cream and some chips which we'll show you when we get it all opened up but that is in a nutshell what this is all about so if you're a beginner all as with all backpacking foods they generally just tear off you cook these in the bag it's called steeping but the first thing you're always going to want to do is remove the silica pack because that's not real tasty it does not add flavor and then i got to double check but i thought there was Open bag, remove and discard oxygen absorber. Add two and a half. That's it. I thought there was some, uh, oh, bring your own tortillas, which we did. So here's a little look at it while it's dried out. You pour the boiling water directly into that, and then in this case, you're going to let it sit for uh, 15 minutes, which is quite a while. So basically, plan another activity for that 15 minutes and just chill out and wait for your food to cook. All right, so water's boiling, as you can see by the steam. So with any kind of thing, you obviously want to shut that off quickly before it overboils. And then uh, as smoothly as possible, remove that. So what we're going to do is just pour that in there and dump a bunch on top of the table. And Emma in my, ooh, I did bring one. Before you close these up, you're always going to want to stir it up so you don't get any of that uh, like powdery residue on the bottom because, believe it or not, it does stay dry pretty good. So stir it up. And then you close her up as fast as possible because you're losing heat. 
and set it aside for 15 minutes. I do like to uh, occasionally, just like any other dish you're cooking, just kind of give it a shake so it stirs up. And There we go. We'll see you in 15 minutes. During our 15 minutes, we shared a coffee and a Hershey bar. Got all fat and sassy. All right, folks, the 15 minutes has expired, so the time has come to do the review. Well, I'm scooping this out on a tortilla shell that we brought out. I'll just make a couple of announcements. In case you don't know us very well, we are going to do some giveaways. Uh, I'm an amateur painter. I do campsites and things like that, and Emma is a highly talented digital artist. She's done a lot of logos, including mine and Bohemian Adventurers. Uh, so look forward to that. And... Uh, We'll also be doing some adventures post these reviews starting this weekend. Uh, I think Emma and I are going to go do a winter overnight in Ponca State Park in Nebraska, so look forward to that. First and foremost, uh, my impression here is that it looks delightful. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope it looks as good as it tastes. Emma, what's your... Looks really soupy. Soupy is a good explanation for it. Uh, we'll show it to you on the plate. But uh, trail, Trailtopia... Beef and black bean burrito with rice. Uh, bring your own tortillas, cheese. A uh, little tip for everybody is folks that like to do this, if you want to spice it up, stock, stop at uh, Taco Jones or Taco Bell and, and get some hot sauce Taco to make Jones. an addition to it. And finally, let's establish a rating scale for all of our future reviews. And we're going to do it simple. One through five. Five being the item would be something that would probably be a staple in what we use when we backpack and one being we probably won't purchase or use it ever again. So here we go. I'm going to plate some of this up on Emma's tortilla. It is uh, soupy, but the rice looks good. The beef looks real. Peppers. All sorts of good stuff. Put one more spoonful on and then... So Emma will show you what it looks like so we can get, a, get you the best view possible. Let me move the camera around. Go ahead and wrap that up in a burrito fashion, Em. I'll say by looking at this, what we just made one burrito out of, we can probably make about six more. So it says two servings, but I don't think I could eat that in one sitting. That's for darn sure. You gonna take the first bite? Sure. First bite time. Tastes like a taco. I had a few chunks of meat in it, which I'm always sketchy about. I had mostly tortilla shell. Yeah. Uh, the meat tasted good. I am so far impressed. We always have to go back for a second bite if you want an honest opinion. So before we give you the rating, mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you go first while I finish chewing. Out of five, what do you give it? Um, two. A two? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of plain. So she said it tastes plain. Being not a fan of backpacking food, I will say that the beef is edible. It tastes like beef. It looks like beef. Everything looks good. It's got some spice to it. I am going to go ahead and give it a four. Not a five because you got to bring your own tortillas and I'm not like wanting to eat the whole bag. But a four meaning I'll try it again. I'll probably buy more because I will eat this. Uh, Trailtopia, uh, I'll give it four stars. Emma gave it a, a two, which I guess on our rating scale means she'd give it another try maybe, huh? Yeah. So she'd give it another try. You never know with your appetites and things. We try to be as objective and honest as possible. But So one, my review is a four. Emma's is a... Two. Give them some, give them a, give them some piece. Is a dose. All right, real quick, folks, we got a third reviewer here. If you don't know Whitney, this is my beautiful girlfriend, fiance, Whitney, uh, who has a real job and has to work more often than I do from home, from home in this lovely home office. Uh, but anyway, go ahead and take a, take a bite there. She's going to give us her take on it. All right, so after the first and second bite, what do you think? I'd eat it. You'd eat it? What do you give it out of five? Four. Four? 
So two fours and a two. Remember, a four means we'll buy it again and eat it. Five means we're going to use it all the time. So two fours and a two. Trail so again, thanks everybody for joining us here at Backpacking with Buckley. We look forward to a wide variety of locations and foods and gear review and all the fun stuff. We'll do some giveaway announcements once we start gaining some traction and we don't want to do a giveaway with our, our zero subscribers thus far. It won't be very productive. But stay tuned for some future adventures. We really love the fact that uh, we got to expand with Bohemian Adventurers and do uh, some collaborative things with them. And we'll see some of our old favorites like As a Crow Flies Hiking, Signal Outdoors, Barnyard Outdoors, Miyagi on the Trail. I could keep going and going, but Jason Kelly, uh, a lot of different people. We'll be hopefully exploring and getting to meet some people this summer. So here we go, 2021, Backpacking with Buckley.